Who's the last bomber note person? Uh, okay. Uh, we need to go to be the closest one. Probably the Akana Canyon warp. Um, he's down the cliff. He's near where the graveyard is. So, oh, so off to the left. Here? Yes. What mask do I have to wear for this? Uh, I mean, I can just... Do you want to figure it out, or I can just tell you? Um, give me, like, a minute. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to find this. It's, it's, like, not only does it break hey, the Epona. rules. What yeah. are you doing here, Pona? Uh, you left her down there when you hooked Shout up earlier in the loop. Interesting. Yeah. Um, not only does this break the rules of Zelda logic, where a ring of rocks is supposed to be something, usually a, a hole, uh, but it's not particularly in the way. It is kind of, like, there and hard to see, or, like, it's... It does stand out a bit if you look over here, because it's just a lone ring of rocks. So it's not breaking much. It's not a hole. For all its bluster, I do like the N64. I think I've said that, but I, it's true. I mean, I don't hate it. I just don't like single-stick game. Or, I don't like... I, I think the control scheme is Southpaw. Okay. Well, I don't... Well, uh, the... Even playing it on the GameCube wouldn't have fixed the camera. Because it still would have been C-Stick. Or it still would have been a button C-Stick analog. Wow, that worked. Was it two sticks? Like, you move with one stick and then you turn with the other? No. It's still a button. It's just on a stick. Because you're using the, the, the camera control... Or the, the buttons to move the camera. It just maps it to the stick. Kind of like how Smash Attacks work. I'm not using buttons to control. I'm using the Z button to put the camera forward. That's it. Otherwise, the camera just moves on its own. And I don't like that. I don't like games that turn with the same stick that you move. Can I see that person? Sure. I haven't had my hands on this in a while. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, C stick is... Or the C button is the... Uh... Yeah, there, there's no turning except... There's no eh, manual turning. It's not. Then again, I'm used to it. All right, so yeah, I'm I'm stuck. Uh, you need to pull out the lens of truth. Are you fucking kidding me? Yes. I mean, no, no, I'm not. There he is. Hey, guy. Huh? Don't tell me. That's. I'm shocked. You're the first person who's ever spoken to me. This is some real strategy guide nonsense right here. I've been waiting here for many years. Waving my arms around and asking for help, but everyone ignores me and passes me by. It's because I'm about as impressive as a stone, right? I'm used to it, though. Every other fucking time in this playthrough, I pull out the Lens of Truth being like, Is it Lens of Truth time? And you're like, it's never Lens of Truth time. That it is almost used. never Lens of Truth time. And the one time, I'm just like, Lens of Truth doesn't make any this sense. Is... And I try fucking like eight other things, and you're just like, hey, try the Lens of Truth. I'm pissed, not at you. This is, this is like, you heard this from somebody on the playground, and they're like, hey, did you know the place, like, right under the, the ghost guy? There's a dude on the ground, and he's invisible, and you have to get out the lens of truth, and you're like, bullshit! Fuck you, there's no way that's true. And then you check it, and you're like, oh, did you know there's a Mew under the truck? You, you just have to make sure the SSN doesn't leave. You just gotta move it with strength, but only with some, one Pokemon. Did you know that in, um... Here, I'll trade it to you for your chart, <laughs> sorry. Let's go Eevee and let's go, uh, Pikachu actually, uh, put the truck back there and then put yeah. a rare candy under the truck. Yeah, it's not the same. No, it's not. I, f I feel like I heard that there was an event in, um, Fire Red Leaf Green that you go to GameStop and they actually didn't put me over there, but I don't fucking know if that's true. I don't think so, because it's on. scripted to, like, be inaccessible otherwise if you don't uh, warp out of the SSN. Oh, well. Uh, mystery gift. I don't fucking know how it works. Anyways, not the point. Who cares? The real way to get Mew sucks. Um, I have a request. Can you give me some medicine that would make me an, uh, even an unnoticeable stone like me feel better? I swear to God, if it's blue medicine, I'm going to kick him in the mouth. It's actually 
weirdly specific about what he's asking for. I don't think I have it, do I? You don't. Uh, you could try giving him the fairy, but if I remember correctly, he needs one type of potion specifically, and I believe it's not the blue potion. After all, I'm a stone, so like a stone, I won't move. I'll just wait right here. Chiro, the stone soldier. Yeah, okay. Was that it to your notebook? That, yeah. He's there. How did you find him? How would anybody find him? Oh, get wait. fucked. Yeah, he's there forever. Okay, fair enough. Um, how do I get more potions? No, uh, we can go to the hag shop and buy one, and I think the vendor in Clocktown also sells uh, potions. Oh, I think only red potion. And you said it's not a blue potion. I'm pretty sure it's a red potion. Okay, I'll just go to Clocktown. I'm, I'm like. I remember getting to this point and being like, fuck, I need a blue potion for the well quests. Nice. Um, and then re trying to give it to this guy. Because you can come here anytime you have a Pona. Okay. Uh, and trying to give him that shit, and then it didn't work. Because blue potions, ironically, if you know where the, the Mask of Scent marks are, they're much easier to get than red potions. Or at least they don't cost you anything. I can't remember where the other Mask of Sense point is other than the forest. And I know there's... Oh, yeah, that's right. You can buy one from the uh, the the Deku Scrub up on the ledge in Ekana. That fourth Deku Scrub sells you magic potions. Or uh, blue potions. I just remembered that. Might have evacuated. I remember be that being weird that he was gone one time. I think it was when we were trying to get the moon crash. I think that's... Right. By fast forwarding, we should try to. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, so we got to go to the the hag's place. Uh, okay. We should. I I would uh, like to see the moon crash at least once, just for funsies. But we can do that like near the end, which we're very close to, admittedly. It's not the song of soaring. Uh. How many times will Caleb Don't worry, I already play the Song of Time square. instead of the Song of Soaring? That's a second bingo square. I'm Let me count that. the ways. It's not, no. <laughs> oh, I've been trying really hard to get some, some of these squares. But some of them are very situational. And a couple I know will not happen without me really pushing. And at that point, where's even the fun? I don't know, you've been pushing, like, you've been really pushing some of them. Yeah, like what? I don't fucking hey, know all of them. Actually, uh, just for, f just since we're already here, why don't you, you've already seen what a large portion of the bingo card is. Would you like to, uh, wager some guesses as to what the remaining squares might be? Uh, no, they're probably hyper-specific to the game, and I have no idea anything about this game. I would say that you could definitely guess a couple of them if you tried. All the ones that I would have guessed, we've already tripped. Yeah. Oh, sure, you couldn't think of one, though? I feel like you're cajoling me into being like, Caleb cast the bingo square correctly. I swear to you, on, on the life of my mother, that I did not make a square about you trying to guess squares. Because we've already tripped that one. I was gonna say, yes, you did make a square, because we already tripped it. Exactly. I'm just curious. This uh, is the wrong way. Is it? Oh, fuck, it's up there, isn't it? Yeah, it's the top top right. Um. Oh, you remember the skip trick? Skip trick? If you dash before jumping. Dash before you can go faster if you zip off, if you... Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot about that because I don't use ever since. It's been it's been a while. Ever basically. since getting the fucking Goron, uh, I've stopped using this because it was been slow. Oh, I'm sorry. This one's slow. Comparatively, yeah. Oh, it's so slow. Comparatively, yeah. Oh. I don't get it. Acid. Oh, why is this character so slow? What are you talking about? For like the first like three hours of the game, you were complaining about normal Link being slow as shit. He is slow as shit. Why do you think yeah, I'm never normal? But he's paced. 
He's paced so that you don't jump off random ledges. And then you can put the bunny hood on and you can fix it. Yeah, no, he's shit until the bunny hood. He's fine. No, he's not. Because there's a lot of places where you need to be able to jump and need precision. So you can't go fucking around too much. That's why Link is the the bet like the well rounder out of the group. Oh, she gave us a free one. Sick. Oh, sweet. I could have sworn we did give her the potion. No, we didn't. We we literally took the potion and then left because we needed it. And you said, don't worry no, about was, saving your sister. She gave us a red one. We didn't need the red one. We needed the blue one. And the we, blue one she wouldn't sell us until she went back to her hut. Oh, that's right. We drank the blue one. Because we... No, no, no. What it was is we went up to her. We... We found out her her uh, sister was fucked up, and then we went back to her and we went, "Hey," and she gave us the potion, and then she flew back to the shop. But we never actually gave the other one the potion. God damn it! That's number six, I think. Can I get a Can I get a Miss Song counter, please? I mean, you shamed this me into the track at all. I mean, you shamed me into fucking this is not shame. using... This is just funny. This is just like, this is you adamantly refusing to grab your own notepad. I don't know but where But even with the notepad, you probably would still accidentally do this a couple times, because this is just the song you use all the time. I mean, I, I legitimately do not know where the notepad went. Oh, that's too bad. Good thing I didn't eat it. You might have. Imagine, imagine I ate the notepad. How fucked up would that be? I'm just like, to prove a point. I would. I, I somehow destroyed and, like, uh, consumed, like, forcibly, the only resource that you consistently refer to. I mean, maybe that's where it went. I haven't been able to find it in a while. Why do you think I haven't been using it? Maybe eat your mattress. Okay, let's play Eat Your Mattress again. I like that one. Yeah, but play it backwards at three times speed. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> I do like Eat Your Mattress a lot. Hey, what's up, idiot? We're back. You know, man, you should have oh, gotten go. some Gatorade. Yeah, it's, it's red flavored. You know oh. when you drink Gatorade and you're like, hmm, what does this taste like? It tastes like red. Oh, I don't like fruit punch flavor that much. Fruit punch flavor doesn't taste like fruit punch. Ah, that. Is it? Is that it? Let me just clip this bottle in my face. Yeah! I hope I get the bottle back. I feel better, I think. Thanks. Oh, here. Ingratitude. You got the stone mask! Wear it with C to become plain as stone. It's a little derpy, but it's got heart. Now, let me practice standing out. You helped the inconspicuous soldier. This was added to your notebook. And if oh, we he's take no off. Dead. Yeah, if we take off the eye, eye of truth. He's now there. Yay! So, this is the stone mask you were telling me about. Th is that all the masks? Yeah. Okay, we're missing one. Fuck. I, I assume it's... Oh, no, no. Yeah, we're good. Um, That's all the optional masks. Hey, look at this guy. It makes us inconspicuous. It's also very... Uh, very fun looking. This dude's been eating a few crayons in his time, for sure. I suppose that's like an ashtray. You like put a little, little cigarette ash in his mouth, and he go, "Oh, thank you." It's more like a shelf than a mouth. So uh, this mask is interesting because it does something that no other masks do. So it makes you inconspicuous. That's right. Oh, uh, it makes it so ah! <laughs> you can still hit them. Uh, enemies no longer target you, at least a number of them. Um, and in the case of some enemies, they literally can't even see you. I don't think it applies to most bosses, or mini-bosses. 
So that's what you meant by the bingo square. Get through the thing without the mask of stone. So if you wear the stone mask in the pirate's fortress, the pirates don't see you at all. You can walk right up to them, and they will not catch you. It is a pure cheat code to completely negate the challenge. And oh. if when you're taking the picture of the face, you can walk right up to them. So how in the hell did was that a bingo square uh, when he was fucking impossible to find? Uh, that seems a little unfair to me. It's not unfair. I told you before, if you were having a lot of trouble with it, I was going to give you a recommendation to go get it. But I didn't want to start by telling you it was there. Because that would have been a little too handled. But it, like, I expected you, when I wrote that, to struggle a bit with that area. And then I would go, oh hey, I can help, I can give you a, a, a way to make it easier if you want. I'm, uh, but you fucking blitzed it. I mean, no you, problem. You've seen me play video games. I'm not a novice. That's true. I have seen you play a video game. Nice. Very nice. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... At some point, I feel like you're just doing it on purpose. No. This has happened like seven times in this one session. <laughs> just in this one, like, it, it's happened a lot, but like, in this one session, I know your muscle memory resets, but fuck, man. That's, that's really goddamn funny. Oh, this is a good counter gag. So, I don't usually like counter gags, but this one might actually be funny. So missing though, yeah? Yeah. No, that's backwards again. Yeah, yeah, okay. Is this correct this time? Okay, yes. Yes. Yes, it is. You know what's crazy? The Song of Time in the first game, did you get that song in that one too? Uh, you only use it like twice. <laughs> but, like, you use Zelda's, Zelda's Lullaby a lot more. Uh, but it's still very ingrained in that game. And then they moved into this one, and it's just like, yeah, but also there's two iterations of the same song. Three. Right, two other iterations. It's so whack. Oh, Link. Uh, I like how he's putting the ocarina up to the mask, and then there's the mouth over the mask. I do like that mask. Me? Kind of looks like Groot. A it's a bit. little. It's very Grootish. It's very. Um, Wait, did I just see him blink? Like claymation-ish. No, I think it's just an artifacting from the pixels. Oh yeah. It's. It's. We did. The, the way that the the monitor is set up, it is natively capturing it in widescreen, even though this game is normally in 4x3. I thought about squashing it, but it is it's it is capturing it in 16x9. Hooray! Now th the lady's father is still a mummy, and the dude is sad. I mean, and that's what she gets for being disrespectful. That one guy is... Dead. He should in have the been graveyard. More, should have been more trusting. Damn, that's brutal. That's fucking brutal, Caleb. No, it's not. You wished pain on a small child. Uh, no. Sad. Very sad. It's very appropriate for the the tone of this game, though. Hey, so now with the stone mask, we can just completely negate all flying enemies from paying attention to us when we're Link. Yeah, I noticed that. Or, I mean, I just noticed that. And that means uh, the other thing probably won't attack me. It might not. It also might. So I don't know why that one... I just fucking... This one just makes sense to me. You know what I like about this song? You just get to roll your hand on the C buttons. Yeah. It feels really good. 
Especially because you have to... We're gonna have to use it a lot. But it, like, weirdly feels pretty good. Just fucking rolling shit. Oh, yeah! No, no kidding. He just completely ignores us. Oh! Interesting. Yeah, I guess you can grapple onto him. Unfortunately, uh, we do probably want to kill him. So yeah. he doesn't bug us here. Uh, cool eye, though. That'll do. The only downside of the stone mask is it's we can't use it while we're in other forms. Yeah. Which kind of blows. So, as useful as it is, potentially, in any place where you're consistently using a different form, it isn't terribly useful. Because it's just inventory management. One of the changes they made in the remake is, uh, A, they sped this cutscene, they removed this cutscene block, so you can move while that's playing, and, oh. uh, you no longer, it no longer plays the song again after you play it. That's a consistent thing with almost all the Zelda remasters, is they make it so that you play the song, and then it doesn't need to play the song again, it just immediately goes the, would you like to drop a thing? That's really nice. Yeah, Wind Waker did that too. I don't when remember. We, her. When we played the remake, it's you wouldn't know because you didn't have any frame of reference. But it's just like the there's like the command melody where you like warp into a person and control them. I don't remember that. Where part. you're controlling like the bird lady and the statues, and they same thing. They reduce the downtime on that. Yay! Well, we got a mask for each area, and now this is the fourth area. Oh, right. He's not heavy enough. He's not heavy. Yeah, I don't think you ever have to make a statue of Deku Link. It's funny. Because he's like, make your four soldiers. It's like, no, not really. It's just kind of three soldiers, and then there's also that one asshole. But I think this one's supposed to be like the... You've you've gotten all the forms, now let's use them all dungeon. Which is kind of interesting. And I can't even jump as Deku Link, so he's not even useful here. Not unless we find any Deku flowers. Or, I'm... Eh. Enough. He's not useful yet. Yeah, this mechanic's a little weird. What's What was the item from Link to the Past? Uh, the cane of something or other. Not Simbuka, it's something like that. But there's like a cane you get that lets you summon blocks. And it kind of uses this kind of concept. Except this time it's, it's a song. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Boulder. You know, missing no... For, for how relatively over I am with the with missing no, it is cool. It's very much one of those like old video game secrets that is very well known to people from that age. I find it more fascinating on why it happens. I just think it's cool that there's a lot of that like zeitgeist sharing. Yeah, the uh, more the, switches. The spread of it was. Obviously, very, very, um, like, the culture around it. I fucking love it. Because I know, like, a lot of games nowadays aren't nearly, like, it's not that they're not necessarily as fucked up, they're just better at hiding it. It's probably just data mining kind of takes all the fun out of it. Because we know everything about a game, like, the second it's even a not even available, like, before it's available. And so you just get, like, the the greatest hits of every data mine ever. And that's fine. And then, uh, and, like, for bigger, like, bigger uh, things like uh, AAA games, it'll be just like, hey, this new fighting game's coming out. We already know the whole roster. You're like, okay, that's cool. You're like, is... Ooh, could it be wrong? Is it a is it a bad leak? It's like no, we literally data mine the things from the shop. Like unless they put a fake, fake content in place, which is very unlikely because it would be expensive. It's almost certainly true. You're like, oh, okay. And you just kind of take it as news. Not that it's bad. It's just like more clinical. I mean, I like it that way. Personally, because I'd like to know what I'm spending my money on. Cause... Yeah, so that's different. It's not the same as schoolyard bullshit, where it's just like, hey, if you shoot all the credits in Smash Bros. Melee, you can unlock Toad as a playable character. 
Yeah. And you're like, that's... no. That... if I went on Game Epic Use right now, I bet that that rumor page is still up for Smash Bros. Melee. Check it. I wonder... Alright. Oh, look what I see over there. This? Save statue? Yeah. Did we find a stray fairy in here before? No, we haven't room? even gotten in the dungeon yet. I remember you saying something about a stray fairy, I just couldn't remember if you were fucking with me. No, that's the that was the joke. Is there aren't any stray fairies outside dungeons. I didn't know if this was the dungeon. I don't know where the dungeon begins. I, I... Uh, we haven't entered it yet, because that's the warp point right there. Oh, that's a warp point? I thought that was... I thought that, that was one of those save you. points. Yeah, it is a save point. Wait, what? They're the same thing? Yeah. Oh. Oh, man. Huh. It Where really is full reset with you sometimes. That's okay. How was I supposed to know? You've been going through the whole game. We've used the fucking owl statues every time. They're, it's literally the song of soaring. There's fucking wings coming off of it when you fly. Yeah, I knew they were the... Again, I'm not blaming you for forgetting. I just find it funny. Alright. Oh, and it's killing 20... Uh, I don't see the toad one. Because it looks like they actually put effort into fact-checking things. Yeah, I've never heard it uh, be Toad, but I have heard uh, like other unlocks. If you do this, something sure. special happens. There's the one. Well, there's the one I just read, which is uh, kill 20 enemies in cruel melee, and you unlock Sonic. You're like, yeah, that's rough. And that might be how you do it in like brawl. What maybe. is that? What is that achievement in melee? It's like kill. Uh, seven of them, I think? Something like that. Yeah, I think that's the one that unlocks that one trophy. Um, I remember I, I cheesed it with Jigglypuff. You just ledge grab and then fly into the stage and hope that one of them just jumps down and kills themselves. That's uh, the only way I can consistently figure it out. That's much smarter than what I did. I ran my head against a wall for like 18 hours to fucking do one. Yeah, you can do that too. I was learning how to play Fox competitively. I am no longer good at that game. Well, not that I was ever still good, way but... fucking better than I am though. I'm not sure about that. Oh yeah, dude, you kicked my ass, to Smash. I'm close. That's because I don't really like Smash that much anymore. Still very good though. I think the last time I played Smash Bros. was with you. That's how long it's been. Yeah, and the last time we played it, we were all we all got toxic as fuck. Oh, you did. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know why so many people get so toxic during uh, fighting games well it's because you always play really competitively and there was the there was uh, the other player who p plays very not competitively and so it clashes very strongly and as we all as uh, I've explained before uh, when it comes to multiplayer games when people don't play the game the same way I want to it frustrates me horribly, and that's why I don't usually play multiplayer. Oh, he's immune! Shit. Oh. That works. Alright, welcome to the dungeon. Thank you for letting me know he was immune. I was just gonna keep smacking him. I know. Yeah, I think it actually pulls him towards yeah, you. Yeah, I was about to say, it looked like it pulled him towards me. Which is probably not the best move with these guys. Since the taser... Welcome to the dungeon. Uh, this is the Stone Tower Temple. It is well known as probably one of the most obtuse, uh, frustrating, uh, non-linear, and generally probably lesser de well-designed dungeons out of any of them. I don't remember literally anything about this dungeon, aside from some of its gimmicks. And I have very little intention of doing anything related to the Stray Fairies for that reason, unless you literally want me to pull a strategy guide out and walk you through it. And even then, we will struggle to get all of them unless we are specifically going through the dungeon just to get them. 
I'm gonna be real. Well, just let me know what the, uh... Alright. Sorry, just making revelations. Revelaton? It looks like I will need all four this time. I think so. Oh, it's, this one's even big. This is probably for Goron. It's probably a small one. Yeah, I guess so. Specifically for Deku Link. That's why they're a different color, I suppose. They're, no, they're, they're all blue. Right, well, these are blue, but the other ones were yellow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, um, I genuinely do not like this dungeon. I struggle to remember almost anything about it. That doesn't, doesn't inspire well, right? me with confidence. No. Um, but it does end pretty strong. So, that's kind of cool. Wait, hold on. I... I guess not that one. Oh, you saw that too, right? No. I don't know what you're talking about. Where you can see through the wall? Yeah. Is there a wall? Yeah, you can see there? through the wall. That Man, is this... kind of fucked up, isn't it? That you don't just really just don't use the Deku Link statue at all. And I think he's probably one of the more visually interesting ones, too, despite how simple his character design is. Wait, there's one on the fucking ceiling? Hold yeah, on. there is one on the ceiling. Yeah, I guess it is just a uh, step on it with Link. Hold on a second. Is it on the ceiling because uh, this guy has the fucking guitar? What? What? What does a guitar have to do with stepping on the ceiling? Am I crazy? You know what? Wait, let me let me see if I'm crazy first. Like upside down, dancing on the ceiling, inside out, stranger to this feeling, got no clue. No, for some reason I thought he held his guitar up. No. No, it's like his grave. Yeah. No, for some but for some reason in my head he was just holding the guitar up. Alright, that works. Then when I step off of here, it's gonna close. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Dude. Huh. Uh, more importantly, now that I can't be wrong about the reward for the Stray Fairies, uh, I can confidently say that, while cool, it is uh, not something that you would be interested in using at all. What is it, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, it's a sword. But specifically, it's a sword that you have to use as an item. It's bigger than his sword, and I think it's a, about as powerful, if not slightly stronger. Uh, but it's, it takes up an item slot. It's called the Fairy Sword. It's, by the time you get it, very not useful. What the fuck do I get on the ceiling? Mm hmm. I don't believe you, but yeah. it was a rhetorical question. Anyways. Wait, no. What? Alright. Fine. I like this song, though. This song's fucking great. Yeah, we gotta use those. What do you mean by use them? Wait, you can grab them? Yeah. If I throw it, does it break it? Yeah. What the fuck am I supposed to use it then? An excellent question. Do I go Mr. Tall Man and then pick it up? I don't think so. But I guess you can do that. Your brain is fascinating. What? This is awesome. Now I can climb on top of it, right? Why can't I climb on top of it? That's not a climbable box. What do you mean? It's not exactly what you mean. What do you think the box is for? Uh, breaking? It's a box. Uh-huh. In an action RPG style adventure game. I don't fucking know. Either climbing or breaking, and apparently 
breaking its bat and climbing on it doesn't work. So no, I don't have any idea what it's I, for. I would say this is a great example of thinking outside the box, but I think you're just in a different box, ironically. You're, you're thinking outside the box by climbing into a second box. I mean, I can't, I can't backseat here. That would just be a hypocritical of me. Backseating the whole time and I've been fine with it. Yes, but it's funny when I don't sometimes. Whoa, crazy. Wait, these break? The boxes blow up, whoa. I, I just want to climb into your mind sometimes. There's not much going on. Remember, be remember when I made a big fucking stink about you rolling into a tree? Yeah. Uh, and how we had broken several crates up to that point by rolling into them. And admittedly, it was not the most intuitive thing in the world. Alright, I guess yeah. I'll roll into the small boxes, see if that does anything. Yeah, I saw that facial expression. <laughs> hmm. Is this what you want me to do? Ah. Uh, Wait. Ah. Uh, you're a treat, Caleb. How the fuck does that hold my, one down? You're my best fucking friend, you know that? How do, How the fuck does this hold one down? When Deku Link can't. Deku Link isn't a box. Can I stack them up on top of each other and then climb on it, maybe? <laughs> I gotta push the button on top! Uh, uh, one step at a time. Just one step. Just one, one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. It sounded like you were trying- it almost sounded like you were trying to imitate Steve Urkel. Uh This is the first puzzle of the dungeon, too. How fucked is this? This- I mean, that's not a slight at you. I mean, like, look how fucked up this puzzle is. Yo, know, honestly, I don't think this puzzle is bad. It's just, like, weirdly hard for the room. For being the first goddamn puzzle. It's like, it's like, okay, hey, here's your tests, here's using all your resources, you need to use the song, and also look around, and also blow up a wall. How wacky. 